Joining me now on set is trade expert Manuel Suarez Mir. He is a Latin America economic consultant and former chief of staff of the governor of the Bank of Mexico. So what's gone through your mind as you've watched this week unfold hour by hour? There's something new and then we have this $100 billion consideration. Um, how seriously should this be taken? Very, very seriously. Uh, everyone thought that Mr. Trump was bluffing when he said all of these things during the campaign and continued making the noises uh, in his Twitter account in his first year in office. Everyone said, oh, don't worry, the, the grown-ups around him will stop him from doing really silly things. Um, well, the grown-ups, for the most part, are out of the White House, and is, he's surrounded by his cronies now, who know nothing about anything, and, and you have so-called experts in trade, like uh, Mr. Lighthizer, the USTR, representative, uh, the, the Secretary of Commerce, and Mr. Peter Navarro, who the three of them are like the, the, a, a, a bad joke in terms of knowing anything about trade. Um, so this is very serious because this has the, the imprint of a trade war that can escalate. When you start hostilities of this nature, you never know when they are going to end or how. So that being said, what is your biggest fear? What is the worst case scenario considering everything that has happened up to this point? Well, let's go back to the, the uh, most recent experience that we have uh, when the U.S. declared uh, trade war against the rest of the world, the, the imposition of the Smoot-Hawley Act in 1932. That led, first of all, the next year those uh, tariffs were imposed. The exports of the U.S. Uh, decreased by 80%. They collapsed by 80%. You were supposed to be helping U.S. industries and agricultural interests, and exactly the opposite happened. Uh, on the other hand, the tariffs that you impose on, on the imports that you are making will become more expensive. So if you and I were to go to Costco or, or any or Walmart uh, in six months from now, the shelves are going to be far emptier than they are today, and the prices are going to be stiffer than now. Manuel, let's step outside the United States for the moment, and for, from China. The U, former U.S. ambassador to China, Max Baca, said in a recent interview that uh, the $100 billion consider, consideration makes the United States look weak. What is the perception around the world right now, from Latin America, Europe? Are they looking at how this would affect them? What are they thinking of this? Of course. Everyone is, is strategizing to figure out how this will end up working. Uh, I come from Mexico, and Mexico has been the subject of attacks by Mr. Trump. And we are still in a nowhere land in relation to the renegotiation of NAFTA, the North American Free Trade Agreement. So, and that's just one case. Everyone is looking into this as to how it will affect us. Uh, in the case of Latin America and China, the, the answer is very clear. There is going to be uh, a much closer relationship with China uh, than before, particularly in the case of Mexico, which, unlike the rest of Latin America, Mexico is not an exporter, in, a major exporter of raw materials, uh, which was the basis of the trade of the rest of Latin America with China. Uh, now, we were both China and Mexico competing for the U.S. market, but in these circumstances, no one knows. Perhaps the next tariffs are going to be imposed on, on Mexico. We got a reprieve on the steel and aluminum tariff because of NAFTA. But with this president, you never know. All right, Manuel Suarez, Mir, thank you so much for your insight. We appreciate it.